It's looking increasingly likely that a government shutdown will happen in Washington later this week. The House has just a handful of days to pass several big spending bills to keep the lights on at agencies from the TSA to the Department of Agriculture. ABC's Liz Landers has you covered. Time is running out for Congress to strike a deal to fund the government, and a government shutdown is looking increasingly likely to occur Saturday at midnight. Speaker Kevin McCarthy telling reporters today that the House could vote at, quote, any time on a short-term continuing resolution to keep the government open, but didn't specify when. First put up the rule, we right. do the appropriation bills, and then we can move to the next. How soon could a CR be voted on then? Well, we've got the CR working now, so we could do it at any time. The logjam is being caused by disarray within the House GOP, and frustration is mounting in the party against the very conservative members who are refusing to compromise on issues like border security and support for Ukraine. I think Kevin's going to continue to negotiate until the end, um, but uh, you know, the Republicans need to vote for Republican bills, and we can avert, avert this shutdown. But Democrats control the Senate and the White House, so even if Republicans in the House eventually agree on a bill, a government shutdown may not be averted unless the spending bills also have the support of Democrats and moderate Republicans. If the government shuts down, as many as 4 million federal workers could lose pay, including military personnel and law enforcement, while members of Congress would continue to receive their six-figure salaries. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg telling ABC News that his department will be directly impacted by a shutdown. And I can't believe some of the very same congressional Republicans who get in line to try to beat us up anytime there's a there's a travel disruption, even a weather related travel disruption, are going to turn around and shut down air traffic control training. An administration official telling ABC News that the Office of Management and Budget has started reaching out to other federal agencies to make sure that their contingency plans are up to date in the event of a shutdown. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News.